Hello and welcome. I am Nathan Crane, director of the Health and Healing Club and host of the Conquering Cancer Summit. And I'm really excited to be joined today by my good friend, Dr. Eric Zielinski. We are going to talk all about a holistic understanding of skin disease, really with a focus on eczema, psoriasis, skin cancer, and other skin disorders, and share with you some empowering insights and natural approaches to healing your skin from the outside in. Dr. Eric Zielinski is the author of the national bestseller, The Healing Power of Essential Oils and the Essential Oils Diet. Dr. Z has pioneered natural living and biblical health education since 2003. He was trained as an aromatherapist, a public health researcher, and a chiropractor. Dr. Z started naturallivingfamily.com in 2014 with his wife to help people learn how to use natural remedies like essential oils safely and effectively. Now their website's visited more than 5 million people every year and has become one of the, uh, really the number one source, online source for biblical health and non-branded essential oils education. And he has a really exciting event coming up called the Eczema, Psoriasis and Skin Disease Masterclass. Uh, we're gonna have a link below this video. You can check that out. We're gonna talk a little bit about it during this interview as well. But uh, in the meantime, we wanna get into some really empowering and, and educational content around what you can do if you have any kind of skin disease or a family member has a skin disease or you're looking to prevent any kind of skin disease. So. Dr. Z, thanks for uh, joining us, brother. Well, thanks, bud. I really appreciate it. I mean, this is this is one of those topics which kind of blows my mind. No one's talking about. I mean, this really, in for you, right, in, in the cancer space, all the research that you've done with cancer, you know, one thing we know is that oftentimes conditions get just misdiagnosed, undiagnosed. People don't go to the doctor when they should or could. But one thing that is undeniable is what people are searching for online. And for those tech geeks out there, you could go to Google Trends or you could go to SEO, search engine optimization tools to find out what people are looking for in search engines. And you know what blew my mind, Nate, is more people, like a significantly more people, 40% more people, in fact, search for the word eczema online than they search for the word cancer. That blew my mind. And then as I was sharing that with my friend, Ryan Sternagel from the Stern Method, whose son has high grade eczema, and he shared with me the story. And then I saw the video that him and his wife created about their son, Rocky, with eczema, like just, it brought me to tears, literally brought me to tears. Mm. I was like, why didn't you say this to anybody? Yeah. Like here he was, you know, Ryan from the Stern Method, they're all in the integrative cancer. They're helping people. Their first son, grade four, stage four brain cancer, right? Dealing with that, their middle daughter, healthy, side of sass. She said, I go, how's your daughter? She's good. She's just a little sassy. Love it. <laughs> Baby boy comes high grade eczema. Like how do you go from stage four cancer to healthy to high grade eczema? And then in the video, Ryan's wife, Teddy, just pours out heart. Please look it up on YouTube or better yet, go to the registration page and look from, for the sign up for our masterclass and see the video from the Stern Eagles. And you'll see Teddy talking about just the embarrassment of it. And that hit me. Skin, you can't hide. Cancer, most cancers you don't see. Autoimmunity, you don't see. Diabetes, you really can't tell. Obesity, okay, you can't, you can't hide obesity. But most chronic conditions, most things that people deal with, you get, you know, lipstick and rouge, put another, you know, put a shirt on, put a suit, you can't see. Skin is everywhere. And for those people who have skin issues on their arms and their hands and their face, that drives another level that drives you to the place where now you're self-conscious and it's not only emotionally painful, but mentally exhausting. And so to say that everyone should have skin health on their radar, quite frankly, is an understatement. And I hope we cover it a little bit because I know I cover this in depth in the masterclass, but the skin truly is the window to your health. And it is primarily how the body defends itself from airborne infection. So, hey, we're in the pandemic, right? Everyone needs to be talking about skin health. This is so important. 
You know, this is really important. I'm glad you guys are doing this event. Um, I'm really happy that uh, you invited me to do a, a, one of the presentations, one of the master classes. Thank you. Thank you. Skin cancer specifically, uh, because, you know, what I realized in researching about skin cancer and, and people will learn this, uh, you know, your master class covers so much more uh, in addition to skin cancer. But what I learned was that skin cancer deaths have skyrocketed by 70% since the 1970s. Yep. Yep. Right. And, and it, right along the lines with what you just said about all these other skin diseases that are just skyrocketing, you know, in the U S 1.5 million people over the age of 70 are developing skin cancer. And here's the interesting thing. Most people think, Oh, it's just the sun. Oh, just stay out of the sun, your skin cancer. The reality is, and I share this in my presentation, there's so much more to it that actually goes beyond the sun. And actually the data shows most people are not getting enough sun. Yep. So, you know, these are kind of shocking facts that, that people are gonna learn about and also solutions for all kinds of skin diseases, right? So maybe talk a little bit about that. Obviously skin cancer, you know, it's a, it's a powerful presentation. I think everybody needs to watch as part of your masterclass, but yep. what are some of the other kind of, you know, shocking skin disease uh, statistics and solutions that you guys are covering in this masterclass and, and maybe share a couple of them with our audience here. Yeah, yeah. Let's go to eczema, for example. Eczema also is known as simple atopic dermatitis. And the thing is that we only know what's being reported. How many people have dermatitis? itching skin, red, rashy skin, they just don't go to the doctor. But what we know right now is currently 31 million plus Americans have symptoms of eczema. That's a lot of people, but here's the thing. This isn't just isolated to America. 20% of all children, 20% of all children are affected globally. That blows your mind. And then you start to wonder why babies, why children? And going back to what you said in the seventies, things started changing in the seventies and eighties and nineties with the advent of antibacterial products, the kind of lotions that people are putting on their skin, the laundry detergent, you know, we have a mutual friend, Stephen Ezell from my green fills who, whose son had horrible eczema when he was born, very similar to Rocky Sternagel's story, Ryan and Teddy's son. And Stephen's baby boy had, they tried everything. They tried all the different things, all the different organic cottons and all the different steroid creams, everything natural. And it wasn't until something said to him, what are you washing your clothes with? That was the last thing. So he threw away the conventional detergent, which most people in the world you or America use. And he tried something quote natural, like went away in a day. Like A, that's how powerful healing can be, especially with a child, babies. We've seen our baby's skin overnight change, the regenerative healing properties. For adults, though, it could take a little bit of time. And so what are you washing your clothes with? Because right now, my body is absorbing whatever it is that it's touching all day long. And we're not thinking of this stuff. This is a global phenomenon. And what really concerns me about this is the connection between damaged skin chemicals in the body care, chemicals in the laundry detergent, chemicals in makeup. Women, think about what you're doing. Think about what you're licking. Think about your lips. Think about the lipstick. Think about the eyeshadow. Think about what's constantly on the face, underarms, right? The perfumes, the colognes. These chemicals absorb and permeate into your bloodstream, linked to chronic inflammation, literally been shown to cause not only, of course, you would think allergies and COPD and respiratory conditions, but because of the chronic inflammation trigger through the skin, Alzheimer's, dementia, autoimmunity, cancer, and a number of mental health disorders, including depression and anxiety. You're looking at God's hazmat suit. And I'm thinking of a picture, and I know you've seen it, Nate. I'm, everyone's seen the memes out there. When you're looking at scientists experimenting with vaccinations and things of that nature about COVID, what you're seeing are people in hazmat suits. Why are they wearing hazmat suits? 
why are they trying to protect their whole body over an airborne pathogen? Well, that's how important the skin is because you don't want your skin to come in contact with something that could be deadly. Regardless of what you think about all that, what that tells me is there is concern and we all should have concern about what our skin is being exposed to. And this is really important, especially right now where we're at in 2021. We all need to be very, very careful to what our body, our skin is being exposed to. That's why all of us need a very good, efficient air purifier in our home. That's why we all need to be very careful about the topical things that we're putting on, the things that we're shampooing with, brushing our teeth women, especially with makeup. You know, I talk this in my little, a little tidbit. I talk about this in my master, one of my master class lessons, I believe it's lesson four about the top three body care products that are most toxic. And number three is nail polish and nail polish remover. Why? Formaldehyde and formaldehyde releasing agents are a primary ingredient. And so my wife, whenever she goes, gets her nails done, she goes to a natural nail boutique that uses formaldehyde free nail polish. Women don't think of this normally. They don't advertise formaldehyde on the label. People aren't thinking like that. And so when you're looking at this, I want you to think of it again. I want to paint the picture. I want to paint the picture of the virologist investigating a drug in the context of a, a sterile lab environment with a hazmat suit. This is your hazmat suit. And if you think about that, this hazmat suit has been designed by God to protect you, protect us from airborne pathogens. And it is when we hurt it, abuse it, and put chemicals on it, cleaning products, don't get me started, right? If you need to wear gloves, you know, those yellow or purple or whatever rubber gloves, if you need to wear gloves on your hands to prevent your hands from getting drying and itching and scabbing because you're using chemical laden cleaners, maybe you should use something more natural that doesn't hurt your skin so much. When we do that, the hazmat suit gets damaged. So imagine we're going back into the lab and someone pokes a hole in the hazmat suit. That, that's DEFCON 5. That's what's happening to people. You know what that's technically called? Leaky skin. It's a condition known as leaky skin. I covered in detail in the masterclass. It's synonymous to leaky gut. And everyone at this point heard of leaky gut. When the intestinal lining has have micro slits in it, which are now permits proteins and chemicals and dangerous toxins to be seeping through and permeate through the gut lining into the bloodstream, which causes inflammation, which we know has been connected to a slew of uh, immune disorders, mental health disorders, and whatever. The same thing exists on the skin. Why? Because the skin has a microbiome to it. You're looking at trillions of bacteria, fungi, and viruses. That's what who I am as a person. The same thing, this microbiome on my skin is very similar to the microbiome in the gut. And very similarly to how the microbiome in the gut can be damaged because of toxins and stress and the things that link to inflammation, we could equate that to the skin. And dermatologists coined it leaky skin. So what I'm trying to do is repair those leaks, shore up your hazmat suit, because again, the last thing I want you to do is walk around with your hazmat suit with a bunch of holes poking through it, because now you're putting yourself more at risk of disease. And this goes way beyond skin cancer. I'm so glad that you covered skin cancer. I believe it's lesson seven that we feature your masterclass is, is we are talking about metastatic cancer because we're dealing with metastatic systemic type of toxic overload. And that should freak all of us out to the point where we now should be thinking twice about what are we breathing? What are we putting on our skin and how we maintain this, the integrity of this hazmat suit? You know, it's a it's a really important point you just brought up there. I mean, the skin alone, right? Researchers have, have identified the human skin has about 5 million pores, right? And if these pores are functioning properly, right? And, and this is actually the first time I've heard of the diagnosis of leaky skin, yeah. which is which is really, you know, fascinating, crazy, and also makes a lot of sense. But if our pores are functioning naturally, right, they, the 
part of what they do is they absorb liquid into the body, right? They can yep. pull water out of the air into the body. When you take a shower, you're absorbing through your pores. When you put anything on your body whatsoever, it's absorbing straight into your bloodstream. And as you talked about formaldehyde, right? Formaldehyde is just one of many chemicals found in so many of the uh, household um, uh, things that we're putting on and around our body every single day. And formaldehyde, for those who don't know, it is a, it's not a probable carcinogen. It's a known carcinogen. Yes. It yes. is known to do, uh, cause DNA damage and contribute to cancer in the body. And there are many of these probable and known carcinogens that are in things like your sunscreen and your makeup and your lotions and your uh, toothpaste, believe it or not, right? right? The mouth, it, you know, it's not the skin, but what I teach people is what you put on your body and in your body becomes your body, right? What you put on your body literally becomes your body at a cellular level. So if you're putting in these endocrine disruptors, which is in just about everything today, every conventional thing today, and you're putting in probable and known carcinogens, and these things at a cellular level are causing damage, you are looking at a systemic metastatic problem for, even if you don't have something like skin cancer, you're opening Pandora's box for the opportunity for a cancer diagnosis in the future, right? And so it is a very, you know, in addition to, eczema and psoriasis and other skin issues, you're looking at the potential for, you know, a, a cancer diagnosis later on. But at the same time, the, the very uh, interesting thing here is that there are some seriously simple and I think even more complex solutions that you teach in your masterclass, right? Um, and you shared, you shared a couple already, which is just start thinking about what you're putting on your body. Number one, but what are maybe some other things people are going to look forward to learning in your masterclass that can that can actually empower people to take back their health? Let me say something somewhat controversial. Stop washing your hands as much as you are right now and be careful with what you wash your hands with. The cases of eczema right now in healthcare workers is skyrocketed because of what's happened with the pandemic. And this is known. This is in the literature Overwashing of the hands is absolutely destroying the skin integrity of tens of millions of frontline healthcare workers. And they're at the mercy of whatever it is, soap and antibacterial products that are all filled with chemicals and dehydrating, dehydrating preservative agents. And that's the key. And let, let's point out one thing because it could be easy to come out of this conversation and be doom and gloom. The world's against us. Why are these people doing this? Why are they selling this stuff? This is bottom line business. I don't believe in a mass conspiracy that Dove and Tide and these companies have come together to kill the people of the world. No, they want to create a product that's shelf stable. They want to create a product that, by the way, you want by nature of your desire for a good aroma and smell and a certain level of cleanliness. They've done oodles amounts of research and they know exactly what people want to use. So they developed these chemically laden products, not to hurt us, but to be shelf stable and to make a profit. And that's really the benefit of mercury and formaldehyde and sodium lauryl sulfates, which gives you those bubbles that are fake that don't exist in nature. When if you use Castile soap, don't bubble up as much. Why? Because people say we like the bubbles. Why? Because they've done the research and they're like more bubbles means more clean. Seriously, more bubbles means cleaner. So give us the bubbles. Okay, boom, sodium lauryl sulfates. It's because of us. They've done the research. So let's take out the conspiracy. Let's take out the anger. Let's realize these people are supplying a demand. The demand is exactly what's being sold. Now, okay, oops, that was a bad decision for our health. Maybe we shouldn't look at what maybe looks or smells clean. And let's look at it again. So here's what we're sharing. And if you're talking to frontline workers, we're talking frontline workers right now that are literally literally causing themselves eczema right now, rampant because of the over excessive hand washing is think twice, really think twice before using that hand sanitizer 
when you touch that doorknob. We've become obsessed as a culture, as a group of people around the world. You don't need to use so much hand sanitizer, and I would argue ever, like ever. The only time I use hand sanitizer right now, I'll be a little graphic, not too much, is when I'm on the road driving down to Orlando to go to Disney World and my baby has a poopy diaper. And you know what? If I'm in a wash, I can't wash my hands in the middle of the road. So I got my little, my, got my little spray, my essential oil-based hand sanitizer. I'd rather use this to clean off my hands than nothing. Other than that, I never, ever use hand sanitizer. No need. No need. If I need it in a pinch, I got this baby. Other than that, good old soap and water. So I want to encourage people to throw away the hand sanitizer, which I know this gets publicized. I know mainstream media is going to find out about this and I'm going to get some stupid hit piece on Daily Beast again, again, saying crazy natural health guy says don't use hand sanitizer. Why? Because that is the solution according to all governments and all health organizations on how to stop this, this outbreak. You don't need hand sanitizer to keep your hands clean. So good old soap and water. And when you use soap and water, please use the stuff that's not scented and that is not antibacterial because antibacterial products are synonymous to an antibiotic. An antibiotic does a great job at killing bacteria, good and bad bacteria. Antibacterial products do the same. This microbiome in my hands, it destroys it destroys the good bacteria that keeps my health and skin integrity alive. And I destroy the hazmat suit, hand sanitizer, antibacterial products cause leaky skin proven done. What do you do? Buy non-toxic versions of them, make your own. I show you how to do it in the master class, and think twice, just think twice about sanitizing. And you think, have we gone overboard? I dare say we have. And then when you look at something I actually cover in my book, The Essential Oils Apothecary, is I, I cover this in the Alzheimer's chapter, is Oxford University, one of the most premier universities in the world, an Oxford University journal recently published a study evaluating the cleanest countries in the world, the most industrious, wealthiest countries in the world, and the prevalence of Alzheimer's. And they found that the cleaner a country is, the more sanitized a country is, the higher the rates of Alzheimer's and dementia. Why? Because what you put on your hands and on your skin has been linked to neurological inflammation. It's from the literature. We're not making this stuff up. Why am I talking about this in the eczema, psoriasis, and skin disease masterclass? Because if I could help you repair this hazmat suit, you're now at infinitely less risk, infinitely less risk of developing a chronic condition like heart disease, like cancer, Alzheimer's, even epilepsy, and Parkinson's. All these diseases are just skyrocketing. The cleaner we get, right, air quotes, the cleaner we get, the sicker we get. Maybe it's about going back. Remember when women used to only use borax? I just, I, I pulled up that quote. Women used to use borax to wash their hair. Nowadays, it's like the, the chemicals that are in our hair cleaning products seeping through the scalp in our eyes, swallowing it, spitting it out. Just put yourself in a shower. Think about all that stuff. And the solution is really, really simple. And it starts with just this mentality of, of shifting one thing at a time. And that's why I want to direct people to not getting overburdened or overwhelmed. And if there's one thing everyone can do right now is literally throw away the store-bought hand sanitizer. Make your own with our little 10, 10, 10 variety of 10 drops of aloe, 10 drops of, of essential oil, 10 drops of witch hazel, 10 drops of an organic grain alcohol. If you have Everclear, if you live in the States, if not use highest proof vodka that you can, even a little bit more if you can and fill it up with water. You got your own little makeshift spritzer hand sanitizer stuff. If you want extra duty, just literally put alcohol in here, like 
organic grain alcohol and 20, 30 drops of essential oil per one ounce of a spray. And what essential oil do you use? Whatever, like literally, they're all antibacterial. What do you want? You want one that will produce a little soporific calming effect, lavender. If you want one that helps you be energetic, jive it up, peppermint. You want one that will calm you, get you just really level, pine or frankincense or myrrh. You want one to give you a nice little mood boost, orange, lime, neroli. We cover all this stuff in the master class and even more so. So basically, this class is taking the best of the best of my brand new book shaping it into this context of look at what my buddy Ryan and his wife, Teddy did to heal their son of high grade eczema. And he's doing great by the way, spoiler alert, but that's pretty cool. You're going to watch the videos, watch the transformation and years and years of my wife and I teaching people how to maintain proper skin integrity and truthfully make the salves and the healing emollients and all the, the compresses. This is one of those classes where we are in my kitchen most of the time, by the way. And my wife does an hour and a half food demo. Hey, if you want to learn how to make your food and how to convert your pantry and kitchen into gluten-free, sugar-free, and dairy-free, which by the way, those that's number three in my answer of what two, three things can we do is cut out gluten, sugar, and dairy. The three most prevalent dangerous food triggers for skin flare-ups. My wife shows you exactly how to convert your pantry and kitchen so you can make food that's gluten-free, dairy-free, and sugar-free. Like if you want to hang out with Mama Z for an hour and a half, hang out on day six because that's what lesson six is all about in the masterclass. I love it, brother. I'm glad you guys are doing this masterclass. It's definitely needed. I know the education you're sharing with people is going to be life-changing and, and possibly even life-saving there is a link below everybody here watching this. You can attend this masterclass free, by the way. So make sure to click the link below this video and sign up and don't miss any of the modules in the masterclass. It is going to change your life, your children's lives, your grandchildren's lives, friends and family's lives for the better. You know, I want to just finish um, to kind of resound a little bit about what you said of this, you know, over sanitization, over cleanliness. There's a point, you know, years ago where humanity was actually, we, we were getting a few diseases because we weren't clean enough, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and you start washing your hands a little bit once a day, twice a day, or after you're touching a, a cadaver or a dead body, for example, right? Uh, like doctors, they were causing women to have so many abortions and deaths because they weren't cleaning their hands after touching a dead body, right? Okay, wash your hands between that before <laughs> delivering a baby, you know? That, <laughs> exactly. That stuff, right? Uh, <laughs> basic things like that. Oh, all of these, you know, uh, uh, deaths don't need to happen anymore. You don't drink your bath water, right? <laughs> you drink, yeah, you know, but at the same time, like, okay, we've gone way to the extreme yes. antibiotics. Yes. Biotic means life, anti-life. The more mm. we focus on things that are against life, as you said, you know, our skin, our mouths, our guts, and actually now they've discovered every organ in the body is filled. We have trillions and trillions of bacteria in and around us that actually are our friends that help us survive without these bacteria, we would not survive. So sure, you, you may kill off some of the so-called bad ones, but you're killing off the ones that need, that your, your cells literally need for communication between yep. mitochondria and all kinds of functions within the body. And then you cause DNA damage and then you're open to all these kinds of diseases. So, you know, I 100% I agree with you. We've gone way overboard, over sanitization, over washing, use common sense there. But at the same time, come and learn all of these other things you can do like that in this masterclass that are going to help you take back your health, right? And, you know, I, I have a friend actually, and his child is, uh, his son is, uh, I think he's 14, and he has eczema everywhere. And I feel so sorry for this 14 year old who just has this, you know, it's itchy, it's scratchy, it hurts. And it's in more and more and more, as you said, millions and millions of people are being diagnosed with these skin diseases at earlier and earlier ages. And these things like cancer primarily are preventable lifestyle related diseases. Yep. 
And when you learn what lifestyle changes you need to make, right? Diet and toxins and, and other solutions, just avoid certain things and make sure your body's getting enough of other things, the right kind of nutrients and so forth, anti-inflammatories and, and you know, we won't get into all the details right now. You make these specific lifestyle changes and your chances for reversing any of these diseases goes way up, right? But primarily even preventing them in the first place. So I'm really glad that you've put this together, you and Ryan. Um, super happy uh, to be a part of it and to be sharing this with, with our community, with people all over the world. I know you're going to change a lot of lives with this event. I'm so glad you've done this. So, so thank you so much, brother. I appreciate it and beyond, you know, and for all of our community members that are, that are here going to attend and be a part of it, um, you know, a huge thanks from all of us. You're welcome. And thank you really. And thanks for the opportunity to share this folks take us up on our offer. This is a free screening of a master class. It's our service. It's part of our Bible help ministry. And let me clarify, it is a master class. So come out. It's step by step, lesson by lesson. You're going to learn a lot of information and we go, we go deep and we go wide. And we want you to know that there are things you could do now not only to help prevent and start the process where you could turn back the clock, so to speak, and reverse these conditions, but I would even say more importantly, you deal with the, the pain and the itching and the problems today. And one thing we cover in great depth is symptom-based management. And that's the key because it's really hard to tell someone, hey, you got to change these 55 things about your life. In the meantime, it's your way to suffering. No, Let's deal with that now. So that's the key. That's my little secret sauce. That's how I heal. That's how I help he people heal is let me get the symptoms. Let me get you feeling better right now. So now you're more motivated and you actually have, dare I say, the faith that you can get well. And I know you can get well. God designed your body with the wonderful ability to heal itself under the right conditions. Follow the advice from the very select few experts that we're featuring. Our tips, Ryan and Teddy's tips, and you're going to be well on your way to glowing, healthy, and repairing that hazmat suit. So you're going to be impenetrable for disease. Amen. <laughs> awesome, brother. Appreciate it, man. I appreciate you. And um, everybody, the link to attend is below in the description. Click that, sign up, and I look forward to seeing you there. Thank you so much. Be well. We'll talk to you soon.